Hey guys, I don't normally ask this before a video, but if you can and you're new, please subscribe to the channel. We're trying to hit 600K by the end of the year. If we don't, that's fine, but it's a goal of mine. So Ellen DeGeneres is America's national treasure. People absolutely adore her. However, even if you like Ellen, which I, I like Ellen, this clip I saw on her YouTube channel is just uncomfortable to watch, it's cringy, and it's just wrong of Ellen to do. Now, I'm not out to get Ellen or hate on her like some of you Ellen fans might think, but just this clip shows a side to Ellen that I've never really seen before. Funny enough, this clip is from about June, so it's a while back, but it started to resurface, and once I saw it, I could not resist but to talk about it. So before the show, I put out some Ellen products with a sign that said only one per person, and um, I just wanted to see how honest my audience was, you know? It's really tough to, because, you know, nobody's watching, you don't think. Um, <laughs> but we set up hidden cameras just to make sure. So right there, Ellen said the premise for the whole video. She's given out free merch to her audience members, but it said you can only take one piece of merch. She then shows a clip of someone who was a very good person and who only took one piece of merch. So watch how honest this lady is right here. So she wanted it, but she said, I'll just buy this. So you put that back what a nice and you guy. weren't gonna take it and you want- So because that lady was such an amazing person and only took one piece of merchandise from that unguarded stand where everything was ripe for the taking, Ellen gave her a free hat. So I have the hat for you, bring- <laughs> I mean, that reaction. It's a fucking hat, get a grip. And then to contrast this, Ellen shows an evil bitch who decided to take more than one piece of merch. Oh, I hope she burns in hell. I mean, any of you could have taken more than one thing, and you didn't, except for these ladies right here. And she goes back and she returns one of her stolen items and she switches it out for a hat. This is where the video goes really downhill. Just look at Ellen's reaction to this. couldn't come so that was her souvenir yeah yeah <laughs> Sorry. a lot of people's sisters couldn't come all right ellen fuck me no need to get your knickers in a twist it's just a bit of shitty merch ellen is getting genuinely pissed at this fan a fan who came to see her who took a few extra things the hat she ended up taking is worth 20 dollars in ellen's merch store now it's not like she went into ellen's shop or somewhere where everything needs to be paid for and she stole that hat and she's a scumbag it's her free merch stand and she decided to take advantage of it she's not a shitty person for doing it she's just you know taking advantage. It's not a nice thing to do, but it's not that bad. So now Ellen starts her rampage of embarrassment and the onslaught begins. And she starts by obviously getting the bitch's name. <laughs> Ellen genuinely looks like she's about to lose her fucking shit. So what is your name? Nancy. Nancy. Oh, Nancy. <laughs> What's your name? Nancy. Just so everyone knows it's you, Nancy, and that you're shamed in front of millions of people. Ellen is quite literally naming and shaming a fan of her show. Look, I, I like that you like the product so much that you wanted to bring one back for your sister. But um, now when you go like to Costco or... or... <laughs> You're the kind of person, like, when you go trick-or-treating and nobody's home, you don't just take the, you take the bowl. You just walk away. <laughs> no. No. All right. Listen, I, I really... Nancy, you piece of shit. You're the type of person who would break into someone's house, tie up the residents, and force-feed them bleach. Yeah. Don't ever take my merch again, you scumbag. I mean, I wouldn't want to fuck with Ellen if she's willing to do this to one of her own fans. Let that be a lesson to you, because you think... <laughs> It is. You, you think nobody's watching you and you just need to be a good person just because you want to be a good person. I'm cringing so hard at this. Did you guys hear what Ellen just said? Let that be a lesson to you. You think nobody's watching you and you just need to be a good person. Ellen the billionaire is saying that this lady here, 
She's not a good person because she took a few extra items from a free merch stand. Just shut the fuck up, Ellen. I generally like you and I like your show, but this, this is just too much. Just because this lady took an extra few items does not make her a bad person. So fucking hold the lecture. And I mean, Ellen, if you want to play that game, what about this clip of you in CVS with Michelle Obama? Did, you, did we pay for that? Mm -hmm. Ellen, how could you? You didn't pay for that, and, and you ate it. That's stealing, you're such a bad person. I mean, if I had to guess, I'd bet you're the type of person that goes to a restaurant, eats the food, and then doesn't pay. Ellen, next time just pay for it and be a good person, will ya? But Ellen's onslaught didn't end there. No, verbally shaming people in front of millions didn't quench her thirst. So she decides to put her on a chair and on display for everyone in the live audience so they could gaze upon this disgrace to humanity. Go sit in that Ellen jail over there right now. <laughs> I mean, look how pissed Ellen is. Look at her face. I've never seen her act like this ever. It's fucking weird and all over a hat. And yes, people are laughing. Even Ellen's, you know, cracking a few laughs. But this lady has been shamed in front of 13 million people on YouTube, a live audience, and millions watching at home, and for what? This is way too much punishment for this lady for doing something so minor. And it wasn't even that bad. And Ellen lectures her on how she should be more of a good person. I mean, uh, if you really wanted to teach her a lesson and not embarrass her, just either grab her when she's taking it, catch her, and go, you know, why don't you pay for that? Or just return the fucking item. There's absolutely no need for this. It's so extra. Millions now know this lady because she's untrustworthy and decided to take a few more extra merch items. I don't know if it really could, but in real life, maybe an employer, a future employer might see this or recognize her, or maybe her current employer might see this and think, she isn't very trustworthy. I might not want to hire her anymore or some shit like that. It could probably affect her. And the main problem I have with this is the whole thing is set up and designed for someone to take the merch. Ellen wants someone to take extra merch so she can do this stupid bit for her show. The merch is laid out on the table, unguarded, you know, there's nothing there to try and really stop anyone. And there's hidden cameras like waiting to catch someone. So it's so fucked up. I bet Ellen was so glad that someone did this so she could do her little bit. Ellen lecturing and said, your morals and being a good person. This situation doesn't even test that. She wasn't stealing shit. She was just taking a few extra things. She was taken advantage of, yes, but it's not stealing. Stealing, it's completely different. And on top of this, a very interesting find, remember the lady that was the Good Samaritan of the whole story who, you know, did the right thing? This lady is an actress and has an IMDB page. So there's a possibility that that part where the lady was doing the right thing was all staged just to make that one lady look even worse. I mean, out of all the footage they had of all these great people, because Ellen states a lot of them are very trustworthy. It turns out you're very honest. Very, very honest. They just happen to use the footage of the IMDb actress. I don't know, I'm getting a whiff of bullshit. Overall, I don't hate Ellen, I watch her show, it's entertaining, I like some of the guests she has on it, but this video was so retarded. I thought it was completely wrong and the crime did not fit the punishment, if you want to call it a crime. I, I can't, and I still can't get over her face, Ellen's face. Damn, fucking hell, Ellen. It's a cheap piece of fucking merch. You know, you'll. I, I think you'll get over it. Anyway, let me know what you think down below. Like the video if you agree or just enjoyed or were entertained. My Twitter down below is at CavosYT. Follow my Twitter. My Instagram is Pierce underscore Cav. I'm gonna be following some of you guys back if you follow that in the first few hours of this going up. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, fuck off.